Ngayon ho, bilang uh, buwan ng pag-ibig at pagmamahal, ito ho yung ating uh, tinatalakay. Love, work, uh, love, works. works, yes. And uh, alam po ninyo, ito ho mensahe ng Panginoon sa bawat um, gawain ho ay uh, tungkol ho sa kanyang pag-ibig. Amen po ba? Um, every message is that um, you hear from the pulpit declares the love of God sa atin. Okay. Kaya na naman ngayong umaga ay itutuloy po natin yung ating uh, naiwan pag-aaral ng nakaraan. Talala yung pinag-usapan natin. Um, Seven churches. Okay. Book of Revelation. Yun yung huling book of the Bible. At we at, uh, I have attempted to uh, to share to you itong book of Revelation. Although marami hong mga teachers, marami mga preacher ang, uh, ang, ang hindi ho... Uh, nagtuturo ng Book of Revelation because of many reasons. Isa dyan ay mahirap may maunawaan dahil uh, ang daming signs, nakakatakot, etc. Et 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 But I realize and I understand if you know your stand, kung alam mo kung saan ka napatayo, itong Revelation na ito ay very simple. Okay? At um, ang, ang target ko talaga ay ang pag-usapan natin yung seven churches in Asia which found in Revelation chapter 23. Kaya lang sa ngayon, ay inuna ho natin yung Revelation chapter 1, that's the introduction of the whole book. Kasi kung maintindihan natin yung, uh, yung Revelation chapter 1, mas madali natin maunawaan the rest of the book. Hmm. And po. At um, ang pinag-usapan natin last time ay yung Revelation 1 verses 1 to 7. So itutuloy natin, Revelation 1, 8, 20 ngayon. And last time, I um, atin din kong na pag-aralan, we focus on the second time. Ito na alala po ninyo in verse 7. And ito ang gusto ko ma-practice ma ma natin in our journey as a Christian. And as we seek okay, to know the truth, as we seek the Lord, pag-aralan pa ninyo na ano eh, you will find me. If you seek me with all your heart, because I will be found by you. Okay? You know, pangako niya sa Jeremiah 29, 12, 13, 14, 15. Makikita niya. Pagkatapos niyang sabihin yung favorite natin na verse, na 29, 11, na I know the plans I have for you, it bless the Lord, etc., etc. Pagkatapos doon, sinabi niya, you will find me if you seek me with all your heart. Or, I will be found by you. Okay, itong principle na ito. Ano itong principle na ito? Okay? The principle of the Berean Christian. Okay? And sabi doon, the Berean Christians or Jews were more noble in character. And they received the message. Tinanggap nila ang mensahe na galing kay Pablo. Mensahe ng Panginoon. At hindi lang nila tinanggap, kundi sabi doon, ay sinasaliksik. Okay? tinitingnan nila ang kasulatan upang makita kung totoo, tama ang itinuturo ni Pablo sa kanila. Yan, ang letter mo natin, simple lang. Pag-ibasa nga, want to go? The Lord of God, the Almighty. So, itutuloy mo natin. Mag-start po tayo sa, sa verse 8. Okay, tapos na natin yung 1 to 7. Hindi natin babalikan. Verse 8 says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Okay. Um, ilalagay ko ito, ito sa kulit kasi gusto kong bigyan ng emphasis sa mga may. But itong pag-aaral na ito, isa mo sa mga matututunan natin is itong book of Revelation ay uh, hindi naman para mahirap ang unawaan kasi Maraming mga signs dito in-interpret na mismo. So the Bible interpret itself siya yung pinakamagaling na mag-interpret sa sarili niya. Okay? Uh, makikita rin natin dito, isa ho sa matutunan niya natin ngayon is the Bible proves that Jesus is God and He is the Almighty. Okay? At ito hong pag-aaral natin ngayon ay basic foundation upang maunawaan po natin ang Book of Revelation. Siguro pag natapos natin ito, excited ninyong basahin ang buong, uh, buong book. Okay? So, ipapakita ko mo yan. Okay. 
So, next, ano tayo? Next verse? Verse 9. Sabi dito, sabi dito, I, John, both your brothers and companions in tribulations and kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ was on the island of Pat uh, island, island that is called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Okay, si John, alam po ninyo, si John is the only apostle according to church history na namatay ho ng mapayapa. Lahat ng mga apostol ho ay pinersecute Si, si Peter, sabi is pinako sa krus ng pabaliklan. Si, si, si Andrew ay naka-ekes na pinako. Okay? Pero si, si John ay binuhusan daw ho o nilagay sa kumukulong mantika. Pero ho siya ay nabuhay. Kaya ho siya ay nilagay doon, sabi niya, ay John. Kaya sabi doon, your brother and companions in tribulation. Yung tribulation ho yan sa ibang salin sa ibang uh, version, ay sufferings. Diba? Kini-persecute ko kasi sila eh. Si John is, uh, is going through uh, great tribulation during those times, but hindi yung tribulation na dinadaanan niya. Pero tayo, kung minsan, may dumadaan din ho tayo sa tribulation, no sufferings sa ating buhay. Okay? Minsan, pag gusto mo talagang sundin ang Panginoon, is meron struggle eh. Hindi po ba? Kahit yung kaibigan mo minsan, um, Inaasar ka dahil sa pananampanataya mo. Those are struggles na nadadaanan po natin. Okay? Hindi ka ngayon makapunta sa night club. Ano tatayin? No? <laughs> <laughs> Hindi ka makapunta sa alibang pang, di ba? <laughs> alam ko is on the radio. Okay? Because of your um, faith, gusto mong okay? gusto mong lumakad ng tama. Okay? And kingdoms and patience of Jesus Christ was in the island of Patmos. The island of Patmos ay around 16 miles offshore. Dito ho nilalagay yung mga, mga, mga eh, ini-excite. Dito ho part of the prison uh, island ng Roman Empire. Kung alam niyo yung Alcatraz, Okay, this, uh, yung Alcatraz, parang gano'n, may mga pili ko na Alcatraz, di ba? Pag ikaw ay mabigat ang kasalanan mo, parang hindi ka makatakas, nilalagay ka dyan. So, the island of Patmos, andito maliit lang na isla, okay, kita niyo yung dito, okay? Around uh, 32 square miles lang daw yung, uh, okay, yung uh, kalagay ng island. Kung meron mo kayong pera, pwede ko pa sila ngayon, kasi naging tourist, ano na yan. Okay, yes, tourist destination na yan. Okay, sa island of Patmos. Doon ho, meron ho yung hard labor. Si John ho ay, being an old man, doon ho ay pinahirapan. But nevertheless, dito rin ho siya kinaugnay ng Panginoon at ibinigay the last book of the Bible, the revelation of Jesus Christ. Kaya the church is to rin na believe that John, after dito, siya ho ay binalik doon sa episodes kung saan ho siya ay namatay ng mapayang pa. Yan ho si John. At sinulat nito ang dosa sa Alat of Patmos. Because of his testimony, because of him witnessing the word of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ, siya ho ay in exile sa Alat of Patmos. Okay, yan ho yung author. Okay, si John. And we know that John is part of the, of the uh, core of the Lord Jesus Christ. Si John, at tawag sa kanya ay? John the Beloved. Okay. Then, sabi di, uh, next verse, sabi doon, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. Okay? I was in the Spirit. God, okay, broke John in the Spirit, not the Spirit, in John. Okay? Siya ay nasa Spirit. On the Lord's day. At itong Lord's day na ito? Sa Lord's day, iba-iba ko yung uh, paniniwala ko ng iba. Okay? Meron dito nagsasabing, the Lord's day should be Sabbath day, should be Saturday. Because ito ho yung bines ng Panginoon. Okay? In the creation, mababasin as early as Genesis, okay? God bless the seventh day, which is the Sabbath day. Okay? At dito ho, sa Ten Commandments, sinilagay ng Panginoon, remember the Sabbath day. Alalahan mo ang Sabbath day. Sabi naman ho lang iba, is ito ho ay Sunday. Kasi yung Sunday, dito na ho nag-worship ang mga, mga, mga Christians. Bakit pa Sunday tayo nag-worship? Bakit hindi Saturday? Okay? Alam niyo ba? Tayo ka Friday, you know? Okay? First day of the week. Okay? But anyway, whether 
Sunday, whether Saturday, whether Friday, we believe that's the Lord's day is the day to worship the Lord. Amen. 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 At dito ho, many Christian believe it's Sunday. Dahil yung bakit napunta sa Sunday ang worship? Because first in the New Testament, okay, I remember after the resurrection of Jesus Christ, they worship Him on the first day after the Sabbath day, so Sunday. Kaya yun naging, uh, naging, uh, naging uh, tradition na po ng mga early Christians to worship on Sunday. Dito ho, Acts 20. Now, on the first day of the week, when the disciples came together to break bread, ito ho yung gathering po nila. The early church gather on the first day of the week, which is Sunday. Okay, not so much for that. Okay, whether Sunday, sabi ko, whether Sunday, Saturday, it's okay lang, as long as you worship so much. That's okay. okay. And I heard, sabi niya, behind me a loud voice as a trumpet. So imagine ganito, si, si John, nakatayo siguro ng vision, okay, there was a loud voice at the back, okay, as a trumpet. Pag nakabasa kayo sa Bible ng as a, like a, tapos po doon sa, interpret sa Bible interpretation, simili. Okay, yung mga makusay sa English, alam na si, parang simili, parang parehas na hindi parehas. Kapareho na, parang inahintulad. Okay, pag sinabi niyang as a trumpet, ano lang po yung ibig lang sabihin is as loud and clear as a trumpet. Malinaw, maliwanag, sabi niya. And I heard the loud voice as prophet saying, Ito ho, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first in the last. Babalikan ko natin yan mamaya. Last, and what you see, kung ano ang iyong nakita, o ano ang iyong nakikita, write in a book. So, ang, 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 ang instruction kay, kay, kay John is, what was shown to you, write it in a book and sell it Okay, to the seven churches in Asia. Kaya alam natin, okay, na lahat ng churches na binanggit dito ay ipinadala ang book of Revelation sa atin. Okay? Probably, one reason is to preserve the authenticity. Para i-preserve yung, yung, uh, uh, ano yung authenticity? Pagiging tunay na ito yung, ito yung original. Okay? Kasi ito ang mangyari, kung halimbawa, ito ang pinadala, yung isa ay binago, halimbawa, ni uh, Kuya Michael, at Martin, kukumpara mo sa iba, ah, hindi, ito mali ito. Kasi ito yung lahat, original na lahat eh, di ba? Alam mo doon sa Revelations 22, is it 22? Revelations uh, 22, 18 to 19, nagbigay ng warning. Sabi doon, For I testify to everyone who hears the word of the prophecy of this book, if anyone adds to these things, God will add to him the plagues that are written in this book. And if anyone takes away from the word of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part from the book of life. To my warning ho, kaya dapat authentic ito. Kaya pinadala niya sa lahat ng churches. May naunawaan ko natin. Pag natutulog ko yung katag, kasi medyo, medyo nakakantok ng konti ito eh. Okay? Gisingin mo ninyo. Okay? Kasi mahalaga po ito. Okay? Mahalaga po itong maunawaan natin. Amen po. Now, sabi niya, to the churches in which are in Asia, sinabi niya doon, to Ephesus, Mirna, Pergamos, Teatera, to Sardis, Philadelphia, and to Laodicea. Pag-aaralan mo natin yan isa-isa. Okay? Ang tanong dyan is, bakit kaya pito? Ito po yun. Okay? Ephesus, Mirna, Laodicea, Okay. Tanong is, bakit kaya ito? Bakit hindi wado? Okay? Itong Asia, nabanggit ko nung nakaraan, itong Asia na binabanggit dito is not the Asia that we know today, kundi ito yung Asia ng Lord. This is part of the province of the Roman Empire during their time. Okay? Ito ngayon ay nasa Western Turkey. Kaya pag pumunta kayo sa ito, ay sa Turkey na, hindi na sa Asia. Now, the first thing is, Oh, itong mga churches na ito, wala na. They are no longer existing. Okay? Pero ang tanong is, bakit kaya sila ang napili? Saan yung Church of Jerusalem? Saan yung Thessalonians? Saan yung Galatians? Saan yung the, uh, Church in Corinth? Okay? Saan yung reduced church? And one thing more, 
Okay, as you go on to the book of Revelation, pagkatapos ng chapter 3, okay, as John saw a, 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 yung, yung representation of the churches, ando na sa heaven, wala na sa earth. During this time, itong church ay nandito pa sa earth. Okay, now, bakit ito ang napili? Bakit ito kaya? As a scholar, uh, search kung anong reason, ito na pagkalaman ko nila. Okay, this churches represents the history of the church. Hindi pwedeng pag yan ho ay hindi magkasunod, hindi ho napasunod ang history. Pangalawa, these seven churches today represents the characteristic katangian ng mga churches ngayon. Kaya Lord, saan ba kami dito? Diba? Kaya maganda ng huwag ko kayong a-absent. Why? Ito ho kasi Pagbalik ko ninyo sa Pilipinas, pag kayo ay dinala ng Panginoon sa ibang lugar, pwede sa Bahrain, pwede sa Canada, okay? pwede sa Tagaytay, pwede sa Buwan, kung sa ibang lugar. Okay? Surely, if you are followers of God, followers of Jesus Christ, you will find a church. Okay? At gusto niyo doon mag-serve, gusto niyo mag-ingkod, mag magpuro sa Panginoon. It's good to understand ano ba ang katangian nito church name. Okay? Reference to what we will be studying. Okay. Ito, sa pangtan, bakit dito? Alam po ninyo, sa Bible, as a, especially in Revelations and in the, in the book of Daniel, ang pito is very prominent video. Seven. Ba? Seven churches. Seven golden lampstand. Okay? Ito, sa sabihin ko sa inyo. Seven stars. Seven lamps. Seven seal. Seven horns. Seven eyes, seven angels, seven trumpets, seven thunders, seven thousand, seven heads, seven crowns, seven angels, seven plagues, seven bowls, seven mountains, seven kings, and seven beatitudes. Tayo sa Pilipinas, dalawa lang ang pito-pito. Ano sa kiyapo? Okay. Pero dito, ang dami yung seven po dito. Okay. So, hindi mo pwedeng ma-assignment nyo sa akin. Okay? Assignment nyo sa akin, bilangin nyo ilan ang pito sa Revelation. By the way, if you know, kung alam mo ang mangyayari sa'yo bukas, do you think it will affect the way you live today? Yes. 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 Amen po. Sana po, as we study the book of Revelation, because the book of Revelation, Okay. It's a book of future of the future. It will also affect our, affect our life today. Okay. Tuloy po tayo. Then, sabi niya, nadinig niya yung voice sa likod. Tapos, sabi niya, then I turn to see. Lumingon siya. Okay. The voice that spoke with me and having turned, I saw, nakita niya, Seven golden lampstand. Pitong golden lampstand. Sa, sa ibang Bible, siguro candlestick. Pero golden candlestick or lampstand. Okay? Ito po yun. I saw a seven golden lampstand. Actually, parang ganito lang yun eh. Kasi wala naman talagang nakakita itong style eh, na imagine lang nung uh, lumikha niya. Pero it's just a presentation. Hmm? Presentation ko ang nakita niya. Emet po ba? Okay. Then, pagkatapos ko doon, sabi niya, in the midst of the seven lampstand, sa gitna ng pitong um, ilaw, sabi niya, um, one like a son of man. Katulad ng anak ng tao. Nakakita siya ng katulad ng anak ng tao. At itong anak ng tao, the son of man, is a title claim only no other than Jesus Christ. Walang nagsabing uh, alibawa si L. Si L ay ano bang tao si L? Mag maganda, maganda L. Si L, ako si magandang L. Ba? Alibawa ganun ang tawag niya sa sarili. Si si I am the son of man, the son of man. Okay? Siya lang nagsasabing maganda siya. Walang nagsa. Pero kung sabihin ko, si magandang L. Sinabi ko na si El maganda. Walang nagsabi, Jesus the Son of Man. Walang iba. Siya lang mismo sa sarili. Amen na. Naunawaan mo natin. 
the Son of Man, the title claimed by Jesus Christ, used by Jesus Christ 80 times to refer to Himself. Okay? 80 times. Okay? Assignment, bilangin nyo ulit sa yung Bible. Okay? <laughs> 32 times in the book of Matthew, Matthew, 12, 14 times in Mark, and 26 times in the book of Luke. Book of Luke, okay? At ito ho, Son of Man, binanggit din mo ito ni Daniel. During the time nung pinakita ng Panginoon kay Daniel yung future. Ito ho, Daniel 7.13. Sabi niya, I want. Uh, I asked. Uh, uh, I was watching in the night vision, and behold, one like the Son of Man, coming uh, with the clouds of heaven. He came to the ancient of days, and they brought him near. Kaya kayo mga religious leader, na mahujo, nung sinabi ni Jesus Christ, the Son of Man. I am the Son of Man. Alam niyo, bless me, Mr. So now, sabi ni John, I, his head and hair were like white as wool, okay? and white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire. Ito mga metaphor po ito, as, as, as a snow, as a flame of fire. Okay, kung pumunta na kayo sa mall of the Emirates, okay? Nadala mo na si Natanay doon, kay Edwin? Mamaya po, pupunta kami. Okay, makikita mo kayo ng isno. Okay? Kung gaano kaputi ang isno. Sabi niya, as white as daging na ako ng totoong isno. Okay? Talagang maputi. Okay? And sabi niya, white as well as now, and his eyes like a flame of... Alam, alam po ninyo, this description na binibigay sa atin ni John, is the only way that he can describe. Wala nang iba. Kasi ito yung kanyang naintindihan eh. Okay? At ito rin yung maunawaan natin. Okay? Possibly hindi more than this. This verse of, uh, of Revelation 14 to 15 okay, describes the radiance, the glorious Jesus Christ. Okay? Pero ito yung definition lang ni John ito eh. Okay? Next. Sabi doon, His feet were like fine brass. It is uh, as if refined in a furnace and his voice as the sound of many waters. Para ang laki ng boses niya. Pero, ang, ang, pero naintindihan niya. Sa, sabi niya, uh, like a trumpet. Okay? Ito pa. He had in his right hand seven stars. Sa kanyang right hand, may pitong star. Out of his mouth went a sharp two-edged sword, and his countenance was like the sun shining on its strength. Okay? Yung two double-edged sword. Okay? Ito, makikita ko na natin, di ba? Makikita ko natin yan, the book of Hebrew. Hebrew chapter 4 verse 12, ang sabi doon, For the word of God, is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. Okay? Ito po yun. Nung makita niya itong image figure na ito, nakita niya there was like a double-edged sword dumakas sa kanya. And then, sabi ni John, And when I saw him, I fell at his feet as dead. But he laid his right hand on me, saying to me, Do not the word do not be afraid mentioned 360 times in the Bible. Or 365. It's like one day, okay, says the Lord, do not be afraid. Every day. Kaya pag ikaw ko ay natatakot, you're afraid of something. Sabi ng Panginoon, do not be afraid. Amen? Anong araw man yan? Meron para sa'yo. Do not be afraid. Sabi niya, I am the first I am uh, at the last, I am he who was a uh, lives and was dead, and behold, I am forever. Uh, I am alive forevermore. Amen. I have the kiss of Hades and of death. He has the kiss of Hades. Hades in death. Now, sabi niya kay, sabi niya kay John, write the things 
which you have seen with the things which are and the things which will take place after this. Ito ho yung outline ng Revelation. God, or Jesus Christ Himself, gave the outline how to study the Revelation. Kasi, sabi niya, which you have seen, kung ano yung nakita mo, verse 1. Which are the present, uh, present things, what is happening, verse 2 and 3, and the things which will take place, verse 4, that is the future. Okay? So you have the past, the present, and the future. So, pag-aaral natin is yung present. Okay? Present things. Which are Revelations 2 and 3. Amen? Are you excited? Amen. Okay, sige. Baka ituloy natin nang ganito sa future. Amen. Okay? Now, sabi ko kanina, maraming mga pastor o maraming mga teacher Kahit tayo eh, di ba? Ayaw na general revelation. O kakatakot eh. Di ba? O kaya eh, mahirap hindi ko maintindihan. Okay? Ang dami-daming signs. Okay? Sabi ko nga, the Bible interprets itself. Tingnan nyo ito. Okay? The mystery of the seven stars which you saw in my right hand and the seven golden stars. Pinaliwanag eh. Sinabi ni eh. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. So we can say, we can conclude that it's in every churches. May naka-assign ko yan ng angel. Amen po? Kaya ho, we know mayroon po tayong angels. Amen po? Hindi na mga katabi mo, yan mo kayo kayo, mukhang angel ba yan, o? Okay, oh yes, o wag nyo pa. And sabi niya, and the seven, the last time, yung ilaw, which you saw, are the seven churches. The churches, okay, supposedly is the light of the world. Kayo ho, tayo, okay, which belongs to the church. Ang church mo, hindi naman yung building, kundi yung tao. Ikaw mismo, ikaw at ako, are supposed to be the light of the world. Okay, Matthew chapter 5, you are the light of the world. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you are the yat law of the world, sabi na yung Panginoon. Okay? Yan ho dapat yung church. Naunawaan ho natin. Now, going back doon sa Alpha and the Omega. Okay? Sabi doon sa uh, Revelation 17.15 Then he said to me, okay, the waters which you saw where the harlot sits are people. So, it interpret po rin ng Bible. Okay? Kita ko ninyo? The waters, sabi niya, are people, multitude, blind nations, and tongues. So, the Bible, the Revelation, the book of Revelation, okay, meron ng interpretation. Kailangan na, kaya sabi ko sa inyo, pag pinag-aralan natin yung Bible, kailangan nyo na Totoong pag-aaral. You need to do it heartily. Dapat nasa puso. You need a Bible, physical Bible. Why? Pinakita ko nung nakaraan, di ba? Para masulatan mo, maguhitan mo, malagyan mo ng markings. Okay? Kaya ho, dahil tayo dito sa abroad, ang yayaman ko natin. Eh. Talagang ang mga Bible ko natin, electronics. Okay, pero okay lang pag nasulatan mo yan, pwede naman, wala namang problema sa akin, di ba? No, oh, may high letter, may high letter ba yan? Ayun, oh, yun. Sige, lagyan mo. Ayun, oo, oh, lagyan mo ng notes, oo. Oh. Okay? Pwede rin sulatan? Ha? Pwede rin sulatan? Ayun, oh, sulatan nyo. Pag walang battery, pwede rin yan? Ha? Ah, hindi pala high tech yan. Okay. 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 So, the, the point is, maganda na meron kang markings, makikita mo. So, dito pinakita, okay, that the, the book of Revelation is not a difficult book to do. If you know this outline, matalimang matalimang. 
And you know, as you go on after chapter 3, chapter 4, okay, and chapter 5, makikita mo ninyo, the lampstand is no longer on earth. Andun na sa langit. Kaya nga, as we study yung second coming, okay, one uh, reason why we believe that the church will be raptured before the great tribulation because in this book, pinakita what will happen. Okay? Andito yung yung, yung, yung uh, puot at galit ng Panginoon. Judgment of God pinakita sa Revelation. Dito ho, sa chapter 45, makita ho ninyo, the Lamb stand, which is the church. Nandun na ho sa langit. So we believe that the church, the real people of God, will not go through the tribulation. Amen. So, sana mapuntahan mo natin baka next year na, no? Okay. Tutuloy lang. So, magtsaga lang po tayo. Amen po. Magtsaga lang po tayo. Pag dumating ng Panginoon bukas, eh, yung may iiwan, sana ay pagkaralan mo rin. Okay. Okay. Going back dito sa I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first Okay? He who is and who was and who is to come. Dito rin ho, Jesus Christ represent the past, the present, and the future. At ang ganda ho nito, the, begin, the Alpha is the first letter of the Greek alphabet. And Omega is the last letter of the Greek alphabet. Parang A to Z. Kaya alam po ninyo, pag bumibili kayo ng vitamins na centrum, ilalagay nila nga. From A to Z. Complete yan kasi. Amen ho? At totoo ho yan. Kasi yung Amazon, ginamit din niya sa kanyang, okay, kanyang logo, A to Z. Ibig sabihin, we have everything. So, Jesus Christ, being the Alpha and the Mega, He is complete. Amen po? Yeah. Kayong mga naghahanap ng boyfriend na nanliligaw sa inyo, sasabihin niya, Ayo complete ni Mario. Okay. Okay. Hindi yun totoo. Ang nagkompleto sa atin ay ang Panginoon oh, Jesus. Amen, amen po? Amen. Hindi po si boyfriend, hindi po si girlfriend. Amen, amen. po? Amen. amen. Sige, palakpahan mo natin ang Panginoon. Thank you, Sir. Now, uh, dito na makita rin mo natin, okay, I am the beginning in the end. The beginning in the end. Okay. So John chapter 1 verse 1, sabi dito, and this is, we know this is Jesus Christ. Sabi na, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Now, pag pumin niyo sa Pilipinas or elsewhere, medyo makaka, makaka, um, encounter mo kayo ng mga grupo that will tell you, Jesus Christ is not a God. Okay? He's just a man. Okay? I will prove to you that Jesus is, kasi ang ano dyan, Jesus is almighty, at least mighty, but He is not almighty. Okay? Yun mo ang argument ko nito. Only God, only Jehovah is almighty. This verse proved that Jesus is the almighty. Okay? He seems to be the, the one they call it in the Old Testament as Jehovah or Yahweh. Okay? Because God the Father, okay, God the Father, uh, one of the triunity, okay, revealed Himself through His Son, Jesus Christ, and through the Holy Spirit. Ang hirap pa nawa niyan, yan ang isa sa gusto ko ituro eh, the Trinity. Okay? Kasi ho, hindi ho natin talaga mo nawa. Pero hindi ko pa naunawaan din talaga. Kasi nal nalilito din ako. Kaya gusto ko may kasamang malito. Kaya one day ituturo ko sa inyo para malito tayo. Amen mo? Kasi kung nalito tayo, alam natin, tao lang tayo. Amen. Okay. Alam pa yung Omega, the beginning in the end. Yan ho ang title na ginamit ni Jesus Christ dito sa religion. Okay. In verse 10, sabi doon, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day, and I heard okay, behind me a loud voice as a trumpet saying, Ito na naman, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last. One more verse. 
Okay, in 17, sabi doon, okay, I am the first and the last. Now, dito ho, sa mga Jehovah's Witness, they have a Bible called New World Translation of the Holy Scripture. Okay? Pwede yung search sa internet. So, John chapter 1, verse 1, they changed it to this. Okay? In the beginning, the word was. Notice that the word is capital W. And the word was with God. And the word was a God. Okay? A small g and a God. Okay? Hindi siya capital G. Okay? Now, Compare this to King James Version. Ang King James Version of the Bible is one of the um, text-by-text translated version. Kaya pag ako ko ay nag-aaral ng, 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 uh, ng uh, text-by-text, I want King James Version. Okay, when you have several versions like New King James, NIV, okay, ESB, those are good version. but if you want a, like, Gusto mong makuha yung original, go to King James Version. Okay? Lalo na yung mga Tao, Nai, mga ganon. Okay? Now, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Note the way it was written. The God there is capital G. Amen po. Now, going to Revelation chapter 1, verse 8, ito ho yung pagkasulat from the New Word Translation. Okay? I am the Alpha and the Omega. Wala problema. Says Jehovah. The one who is and who was and who is coming. The Omega. Now, kung dumating sa punto that they will come unto your house, knock on your door, and discuss this, bring them to Isaiah. In the book of Isaiah, 44 verse 6, ito ang nakasulat, this is what Jehovah says. And you can read into your version of Bible. Okay? The king of Israel and uh, his reportager, Jehovah of armies, sabi niya, I am the first and I am the last. There is no God. Okay, we say. Sino nagsasabi nito? Jehovah. Okay, now bring them here in Revelation 1.17 any of the Revelation na meron dyan sabi doon when I was as when I saw him I fell as the dust at his feet and he laid his right hand to me and said on me and said do not be afraid I am the first and the last the living one and I become dead sino yun? Jesus Jesus Christ but I look but, uh, but look, I am living for ever and ever. Even, okay, going to Revelation, binabago nila ang katotohanan. But for us, we know the truth. Amen po. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now, I want to end, okay, dito ho, sa Revelation chapter 22. Okay, Revelation chapter 22 is the last chapter of the Bible of the book and the last chapter of the Bible. Ito ho, promise ko ito ng Panginoon. Okay. Revelation chapter 22, verse 3, 12 to 13, sabi niya, Behold, I am coming quickly and my reward is with me. Pagbalik ko ng Panginoon, dala po niyo reward niya sa atin. Amen. Amen. May reward pala ko Amen. To give to everyone according to His word. According to His word. The work here is not for salvation. The work here is for the one. And the work here doesn't mean ah, wala akong wala akong ministry sa church, wala akong alumunod. Ano po ang work natin? Hindi na si church. Ang work ko natin is even outside the church. It's good to commit sa church kasi dito ho natin develop yung skill na binigay sa atin. And church need workers. 
problema lang dito ang church walang bayan. Ang workers ng church walang bayan. Sa mga lahat, mega churches, of course, may bayan sila. Especially kung full-time sila. Pero tayo sa aming Diyos, unfortunately, wala ko tayo pang bayan. Okay? Ito ho ay service natin sa Panginoon. Amen po. Kayo iba ko sa atin, alam po ninyo, yung uh, pupunta ko tayo, pupulang, tatawa, papalapak, ang sarap magpunta sa Panginoon. Yeah. 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 Ang ating home, ang ating home, uh, paglilin ko sa Panginoon. Maliit man yan, pantay-pantay lang yung tayo. Pagdating ko sa Diyos, wala akong pastor, wala akong, uh, wala akong nagalinis, wala akong, wala akong pantay-pantay lang tayo. Amen po. Basta ginawa mo yan sa Panginoon, para ako sa Panginoon. Amen. Amen. Sabi niya, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. In the first, in the last, the Alma and the Omega, when it comes to the end of the world.